If you have a room set up, maybe for your YouTube videos or freelance work or Zoom calls, and you want to know which focal length lens to use or buy for your camera, I have a quick and easy tip using just this and a little bit of math that I did already, so you don't have to. When I was setting up this shot, I wanted the edges of the frame to be here and to show nothing beyond that. Well, because I didn't paint the other walls and they're a different color and I didn't think it would look good. Oftentimes when I'm gonna shoot, I run into the same problem, only wanting to show parts of a background. But that's where this comes in. What is this? This is a laser distance measurer, basically a fancy tape measure. I got this one for about $20 off of Amazon. I'll link it in the description below. I take this on all my shoots and this is how it works. So going back to my setup here, I know I only wanna show the black background in my shot. I also know I have to place the camera here, well, because I can't place it any further back. So all I have to do is take two measurements. The first is the length of the black background. All right, first we have to power it on by holding this button here. Then we just make sure it's level and press this button here to take a measurement. And we get 11.365 feet for the width of the background. For the second measurement, I need the distance from the wall to where the camera will be placed, and actually more specifically, where the optical center of the lens will be placed. The optical center is the central point of a lens through which light passes without suffering any deviation. For our purposes here, we'll estimate somewhere in the middle of a lens. So as a demonstration, I have a 24 to 70 millimeter zoom lens here. I'll place the device here, and doing the same as before, I get 11.086 feet. What's nice about this is it stores the last 20 measurements so you can go back and reference it. Now that we have our two measurements, it's time for that little bit of math. The good news is I've done it already and I've built it into a Google Sheet that I shared in the description box below. All right, so if we open up the Google Sheet, you can see there are a few different options, which we'll get to in a minute, but the first thing we have to do is select the crop factor on our camera's sensor. If you don't know your camera's crop factor, you can usually Google it, but I've included a few of the more common ones in this dropdown. And if you have a camera that has a different crop factor, let me know in the comments and I'll add it to the list. I'm using the Sony a7S III, which has a full frame sensor, so that's the one I'll select. And we're gonna go to this first section, what focal length lens do I need? Because we measured the width of the background as well as the distance from the camera to the background. So the width of the background was 11.365 feet and the distance from the camera to the background was 11.086 feet. And that gives us a focal length of 35 millimeters, which let's go test it out. Going back to our main shot, I'm gonna use this 24 to 70 millimeter zoom lens and just slowly zoom in until the black background disappears. As you can see, right at 35 millimeters is where the white walls disappear and all you can see is the black background. So there you go, a quick and easy way to determine what focal length lens you might need for your room. A quick disclaimer here, if you have a fisheye lens or any other distorted lens, it will not work. Something to note. Okay, let's say instead now you already have a prime lens and you know what width of the background you wanna show and you wanna know how far the camera has to be from that background. So using the same example as before, let's put the focal length in. Let's say you have a 35 millimeter prime lens and you know the width of the background is 11.365 feet. You have to be 11.09 feet from the background. So a little bit of a different number from the first section there, but close enough where it should give you a pretty good estimate. Okay, that third section here, how much background is in my shot, now instead you have a prime lens and you know how far you're gonna place the camera from the background, but you wanna know how much background will show. So let's again put 35 millimeters in for the focal length, and now we're gonna put 11.086 feet in distance from the background. We're gonna get 11.403, which is very close to the 11.365. Okay, there are two more sections left, but these are for corners instead of flat walls. Now, they won't work quite as well as the flat wall for two reasons. One is you have to make sure the camera is directly in the middle of the corner, which can be hard to do. And secondly, your wall has to be 90 degrees, which many walls are not, but it'll give you a pretty good estimate. So let's take a look. All right, so for the corner shot, how much side walls in each of my frame? This will measure how much of each sidewall is showing, much like the flat background, but instead will show how many feet or inches or centimeters or meters or whatever you're using of sidewall. So let's start with knowing our focal length. Again, we'll, let's do 24 this time. Try 24 and we're gonna place our camera 10 feet from the corner. That will give us 
approximately six feet of sidewall on each side in frame. Okay, for this last section, it will find the focal length you need depending on how much side wall you want to show and how far away you want to place the camera from the corner. So let's say we want to show six feet on either side of the side wall and we're going to place the camera 10 feet from the corner. That will give us the 24 millimeter lens. All right, that about wraps it up. Let me know in the comments below if it was helpful and I will see you in the next one.